Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Strictly Logical. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to it for more informative videos. In this video, I am going to explain to you the 5 basic properties of numbers which will make your math sums very much easier. All these properties are applicable on whole numbers, natural numbers, rational numbers, integers, decimal fractions. What a mouthful of words. But the ideas behind these properties are very simple. Then at the end, I have some fun facts connected to these properties. So please stay tuned till the end without skipping let's begin so student our first law is commutative laws this law states that we can swap the numbers over and still get the same answer at the end it means that if any number a gets added to b the result will be the same as we add b to a that means a plus b is equals to b plus a it means even if we change the order of the add-ins we will get the same answer add-in means numbers which are added to another this is the commutative law for example 6 plus 3 is 9 even if we add 3 to 6 now let's check for the commutative law for the multiplication it means that if any number is multiplied to another number the result result will be same even if we change the order of the numbers that means a into b is equals to b into a for example 2 into 4 is 8 as well as 4 into 2 is also 8 this property is true for percentages also as we know that a into b is equals to b into a it means a percent of b is equals to b percent of a a and b can be any numbers for example if you calculate 8 percent of 50 it will be equivalent to 50 percent of a the answer would be 4 in both the case. Let's check this video out for better understanding. There is a limitation for the commutative law. This law is not applicable on subtraction and division. For example, 12 by 3 is equals to 4. But if we do the reciprocal of it, that is 3 by 12, which is equals to 1 by 4. 4 is not equals to 1 by 4. Similarly, subtraction 12 minus 3 is not equals to 3 minus 12. That's why commutative law is not applicable on subtraction and division. Now our second law is associative law. This property gets its name from the word associate and it refers to the grouping of numbers which means the associative law states that it doesn't matter how we group the numbers which means when three or more numbers are added or multiplied the sum or the product is same regardless of grouping of the add-ins or multiplicands which means a plus b in brackets plus c is equals to a plus in brackets b plus c it means we can ease our calculation by grouping of the numbers in the left hand side of the equals to we can see that a is added to b these two added first and then the result gets added to c this result will be equals to when b and c gets added first and then the result gets added to a for example add 6 and 3 first 6 plus 3 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 this is equals to add 3 plus 4 first which is 7 6 plus 7 is 13 so we have seen that in both the cases we have got the same result the only difference is the grouping of the numbers this law is applicable for multiplication also we can change the order as we have seen in the commutative law here you can see that a and b get multiplied first and then the product gets multiplied by c this will be equals to when b and c are grouped together they have multiplied and then
can the product get again multiplied by 8 for example 2 into 4 is 8 8 into 3 is 24 here in this case 4 and 3 gets multiplied first 4 3s are 12 the product 12 gets multiplied by 2 12 into 2 is 24 so this property is applicable on addition and multiplication but again there is a limitation just like commutative law associative law doesn't work for subtraction and division too for example 9 minus 4 in brackets minus 3 that means we need to solve bracket first 9 minus 4 is 5 5 minus 3 which is equals to 2 but if we change the grouping of the numbers this time we have grouped 4 and 3 together 4 minus 3 is 1 so 9 minus 1 is 8 the result in both the cases are different which proves that associative law is not applicable on subtraction and division of the numbers let's watch the video for the associative law अब आप सोच रहे होंगे कि हमें ये मल्टीप्लिकेशन, डिवीजन, एडिशन, सब्ट्रैक्शन तो पहले से ही आता है। तो हम ये प्रॉपर्टीज क्यों पढ़ रहे हैं? हमें ये इतने सारे लॉस क्यों पढ़ाए जा रहे हैं? To make math simplification easier, we need to study these rules. Sometimes it is easier to add or multiply in a different order. Let's see in this question how can you use associative property. I will add 36 and 4 first and then I'll add the answer to the 19. Why so? Because 36 plus 4 is 40. We can easily add 36 and 4 and the answer would be 40 and then just add 19 plus 40 you will get 59. Now you must be thinking how do we get to know which two numbers should be grouped. So for that what you have to do is just find those numbers whose addition gets you 0 in the units place so here 36 plus 4 is 40 that's how we got 0 in the units place and then you can add 19 to 40 you will get 59 let's take another example now if you this question ko associative property ke help ke bina solve karte, to aap pehle 2 multiply karte 16 se and then you will aur uske baad aap us product ko 5 se multiply karte but if we use associative property ka use kare, to ye question is very easy ho just find those two numbers whose multiplication will get you 0 in the units place so if I group 2 and 5 I would get 10 as the answer now 10 into 16 is very easy that is 160 now comes the most interesting and exciting property that is distributive property now you will think why I have said it interesting so I will tell you a little bit actually this is the best one of all but needs careful attention so let's read distributive property helps us to simplify the multiplication of numbers by sum or different for example a into b plus c is written where a b and c are three numbers any numbers where a b and c are three any numbers using distributive property we can expand the expression as a into b plus c it can also be written as the number which is written outside the bracket will get multiplied to all the numbers which are written inside which means a gets multiplied to b as well as it gets multiplied to c also so here i can write it as a into b plus a into c why plus because we have plus sign here in between now let's take an example of distributive property so here it's written 3 into 3 plus 4 as you can see 3 and 4 are grouped 
So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 into 3 is 21. Now here I have taken two types of fruit. I have 3 rows of 3 mangoes in each row and here 3 rows of 4 apples in each row. Now count how many fruits are there. So here 3 into 3 and here 3 into 4. 3 3 is a 9 plus 3 into 4 is 12. 12 plus 9 is 21. So we have seen that either way we will get the same answer. Now let me tell you why I was saying this property as very interesting one because it is applicable on subtraction also. Here 3 into 5 minus 4. 3 will get distributed over 5 and 4. 3 into 5 which is 15 minus 3 into 4 is 12. 15 minus 12 is also 3. Now let's take some more examples for better understanding. Here we need to solve 6 into 204. I know you must be thinking to solve this question using conventional method but here I can use distributive property to make this sum very easier. So for that what I need to do is first of all break this 204 into two parts. How will you do that? You can break 204 as 204. 6 into 204 can also be written as 6 into 200 plus 6 into 4. Now use Bodmas rule and solve it. 6 into 200 is 1200 and 6 into 4 is 24. Just add them you will get 1220. So in just three steps you have got the answer with the help of distributive property. Let's take another example. Here we need to solve 16 into 6 plus 16 into 4. We can see that there are two terms here 16 into 6 and 16 into 4. Out of these two terms you can see that 16 is common in both the terms. So just take out 16, 16 into and just group 6 and 4. As I told you in the associative property that sometimes it is very easier if we group the numbers. Now here you can see that 6 plus 4 is easy that's 10. 16 into 10 is 1 6. Now take an example of distributive property over subtraction. So again you can see there are two terms. In these two terms 3 is common in both the terms right take out 3 as common and group 26 and 20 so 26 minus 24 why would we take minus sign here because we had minus sign in the question use bodmas rule and solve the bracket first 26 minus 24 is 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 this property can also be used for long list of additions too for example you have to solve this total there are five terms first term 6 into 7 second term 2 into 7 third term 3 into 7 7, fourth term 5 into 7 and the last term is 4 into 7. In all these terms which number is common? 7 is common to all the terms right? Take 7 as the common and add all the rest of the numbers. So it would be 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 in bracket outside the bracket multiplied by 7. So the addition is 20. 20 into 7 is 140. Otherwise if you would have used the conventional method you have to multiply 6 by 7 first which is 42 plus plus 14 plus 21 plus 35 and plus 28 that would take much time but with the help of distributive property we have solved this question within few seconds distributive property is applicable on subtraction but it is not applicable on division here 24 divided by 4 plus 8 so according to board mass we need to solve bracket first 4 plus 8 is 12 so 24 by 12 is how much 2 but if you distribute the 24 to both the denominators you would get 24 by 4 plus 24 by 8 which is equals to 6 plus 3 which is 9 2 and 9 are not equal so this distributive law is not applicable on division although it is applicable on subtraction
Now let's summarize first three laws and then I'll teach you two more interesting properties. So first law was commutative law which says that we can swap the numbers we will get the same result which means a plus b is equals to b plus a. Also it is applicable for multiplication a into b is equals to b into a. Second one was associative law in which we group the numbers for addition it is a plus b in brackets plus c equals to a plus in brackets b plus c. We will get the same result. For multiplication it is a into b in brackets multiplied by c equals to a into the product of b and c. Now the last and the interesting one distributive law a into b plus c which means the number which is written outside the bracket will get distributed to all the numbers which are written inside the bracket. So a will get multiplied to b first which is written here a into b plus a into c. Next property is identity property. This property is categorized into two parts. First is additive identity. Additive identity is a number which when added to any number gives the same number itself. The additive identity is 0 as adding 0 to any number gives the sum as the number. It. That means if 0 is added to any number the result is the number itself. While the multiplicative identity says that multiplicative identity identity is a number which when multiplied by any number gives the product as the number itself. The multiplicative identity is 1 as multiplying any number by 1 gives the product as the number itself. So this is all about the identity property. So kids our last property is inverse property. But before starting this property let me tell you that at the end of the video I have included some fun facts about these properties. Don't miss those fun facts. This inverse property of addition says that the sum of the number and its negative which means the additive inverse is always 0 which means a plus minus a is equals to 0 where a is the number and this minus a is additive inverse of a. Additive inverse means the same number but with opposite sign. For example suppose minus 5 is the number its additive inverse will be plus 5. If you add them you will get 0. Minus 14 is the additive inverse of 14. If you add them you will get 0. Inverse property of multiplication says that multiplying a number by its reciprocal is always 1. Reciprocal is also known as multiplicative inverse. So if you multiply a number with its reciprocal you will always get 1. For example suppose the number is 8 and its reciprocal would be 1 by 8. If you're gonna multiply these two 8 into 1 by 8 will give you 1. But this property is not applicable on 0 because the multiplicative inverse of 0 is 1 by 0 and 1 by 0 is undefined. <laughs>